Hello, we're back. And uh, today we're going to be making something else that's pretty cool, pretty fun. Also very easy to put together. Another post-processing material to make a low resolution sort of effect for your scene. And it's got a few controls to it. Uh, not very difficult to put together. So let's just get started. So we make a new material. Call this one low res PP. And we'll open him up. Remember to set it to post-process. And we're going to be using it to or to create a low res filter. So first thing we want to do is take the screen position. This just gets the, the X and Y of the rendered frame. And we will need a value that we will call our resolution. And we're going to use a little bit of maths to make the effect work. So we're going to multiply our screen position by the floor of our scalar parameter. And if you're not familiar with floor or the uh, the opposite seal, uh, you can play around in, the, in materials. It's just round. The floor will just round down, and the seal will just round up. Floor and ceiling. Very very simple. But if we're working with whole numbers in the resolution, this node here probably isn't particularly necessary. But it absolutely is on the other side of this multiply node. So just for you know, just for safety, we'll keep we'll keep everything together. So once we've multiplied our value by the screen position, and we'll set this to 96 at first. That's a pretty low figure, and it'll be very, very obvious when it's uh, when it's on our scene. And then we'll divide this value by the floor of our resolution again. And that is basically it. And then we take this and we, well, we'll just put a scene texture node scene texture node in make sure this is set to our post process and we'll plug the result of this of this graph into the uvs which will then go into our emissive and that's it that's the end of the that's the end of the graph here so we'll just save that and actually we can do something we can do something else so we'll call this resolution x and we'll duplicate and call this one resolution y and we will append this will just take these two values and use them as the x y for our final result this will just give us a bit more control like if we're in widescreen and we want perfectly square uh pixels in our end result we can we can do it like this very very easy i like the append node and then we're done so so we'll go into our outliner and find our post-process volume for our scene. Uh, come down to the post-process materials. We'll add an entry to this array. Make sure it's an asset reference. This, this should be pretty familiar. And we'll drop that just in there. And there it is. How cool is that? In fact, for a bit more real-time control, we can make an instance here. And we'll just drop that in so that we can, in real-time, activate these values. See, the reason that we've split the X and Y here is because they're not, they're not perfectly square pixels. But as you can see, with this, we, we, can, we can control that. And because of the floor nodes we have in our material, these figures will be rounded down to the next whole number. So there's not going to be any, any issues there. And we'll drop it down. I like a big chunky pixel effect. Why not? Uh, we can even hit play. It's interesting. <laughs> it uh, yeah, it makes for an interesting time, and you might like this for you know well, whatever you're working on, dream sequences maybe. That's not try and get them three D square. And the uh, the last thing that I wanted to have a quick look at is that we could combine this with a color lookup table to make a kind of classic Game Boy screen kind of feel. So. You take a screenshot of the scene first of all and open it up in Photoshop. So we have the, the screenshot here. I'm just going to go over color lookup tables in a bit more depth and detail than I did in the, the night vision camera uh, video. Just so that, you know, we're a bit more comfortable working with them. So head over to the Unreal Engine website and grab the, uh, the lookup table. Free download. I'll put a link in the description. Paste that onto our over the top of our screenshot. Let's put it down here out of the way. And then we're going to use adjustment layers to create our effect. Let's desaturate that first. 
have a solid color. And if anyone remembers those old Game Boys, it's kind of got a dark green sort of color. Set that to overlay. So that that will also adjust the levels a bit, just in a in a minor sort of sense. Let's see what looks good. That looks pretty good. Doesn't need to be be too different. And now here's where the the trickery comes in. So now that we've got this and these adjustment layers over the top of both of our, you know, our screenshot and our lookup table, we can see the lookup table has been changed in the bottom. What we want to do is composite all of these pixels onto the one layer. So you hit Control, Alt, Shift, and E, and it will dump everything visible onto a new layer at the top. Now you want to hold in Control and click on the square of your lookup table layer. This will select the pixels, or at least the region of the canvas where the lookup table is. And with your top layer selected, hit Control C, head back over to your lookup table, and then Control V. And there it is. Now we can drop this onto the, just onto the desktop for now, 24 bits per pixel. Come back into the engine and import it in. So there it is. Now we want to open it up because we need the engine to recognize that this is a lookup table. So over here, um, where's it usually? The, no, the texture group. You want to find the texture group and set it to a color lookup table and then save. And then back in the outliner, grab the post process volume and we just search for LUT. Tick this box here for the color grading lookup table and drag our boy in. And there we go. So there is to it. I'm not sure why they're coming up as blue. Maybe the lookup table ignores the things in the scene. Doesn't matter because once we hit play, we have our very good looking Game Boy low res post process material. So this was just a pretty quick video. Uh, just a very cool effect with a very simple, simple material, simple graph. It's very easy to do. I know this was a shorter one than usual, <laughs> but uh, there'll be more things coming in the next few days. So until then, I will catch you next time.